Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how to create a calendar using the sequence function, weekday, date value and conditional formatting. So on the screen, I've got the finished article with the functions that I'm using sitting next to it. So basically what happens is if I select a month from here, the calendar will fill that month in and blank off in green the blank days. So you can see how it's fitting there. And if I select another month, like August, for example, you can see how that fits. So I want to recreate this from scratch on the second sheet. So if I go into this second sheet, the first thing I'm going to do is create a data validation list for the month. So in cell H4, go into data and then validation. And then I'm going to create a list. Now you can type the list. I'll just show you this. So type, comma, type, comma. That is quite a long winded way of doing it. Or oh, for this example, I'm just going to type a list over here. Just get the months coming down to December. And then I can refer to that. It's up to you which way you do it. But data validation. So it's going to be a list. The list is that list there. So I'll highlight that list. Bring that back in. Click OK. And then I've got a little drop down there. Put January in there. And then the year, I'll put 24 there. That's going to be the year. But you could also do data validation there for that. Now, days of the week. Just going to pull that across. So Monday to Sunday give myself a little calendar and then I want the sequence function to give me some information here now this is a function that I'm going to type out but I have to name a cell date first so this bit needs to be done first now I've got it called date on the other sheet this is gonna to have to be called dates with an s so to do that I'm clicking in there going up the top there Type in dates, press and enter on the keyboard. That's how you name a cell. So in there, I want to use this function, the date value function, which is going to be the first of what's in H4, which is Jan, and what's in I4, which is 24. So I'll just type that out in there. And then that's going to be called dates equals date value. Press your tab key to get the bracket. So I need to put a one in quotes first off and then an and sign and then I can click on that cell actually and then another and sign so that's just to join it together so it's just be, it's just going to be one complete number and then if I tick that it gives you a number which is a I can change that to a date it'll be basically the first of a date but I don't actually want to see that so I'm going control one and go into custom. So control one gets into um, format cells. I'm just going to give myself three semicolons, which just hides the information that's in the cell. But there's a formula. What we have to do now is put the sequence function in here. And this is what I'm going to type, except I'm going to use dates instead of date, because that's what I've called that cell. A1 is called dates. But here we go, equals sequence, pressing tab once that pops up. So I want six rows, seven columns, and the start is going to be dates with an S. And then I need to minus the weekday function, which is basically the day of the week. So weekday returns a number, for example, a number two would be for Monday. So I need to put dates in here again, comma, and there's a list of options I want. So I'm going for two and then closing the bracket on that. Then I need to do plus one because that'll put zero, zero in there. So I'll just put plus one and then comma. I'm on the last part of the sequence function, as you can see there. What do you want it to step by? I want it to step by one. And then if I close the bracket on that and click the tick, that should drop it in. 
okay it's dropped it in as number i'll just format this to how i want it so control one to get that up and then custom and i want this to be d just d i think that works if i click ok to that comes up with the numbers like that so obviously i've got i'm on august there if i select if i select jan it's coming up with the first but it's got all these extra dates there's the 31st um i, I just want this to color up or not color up should i say hide this extra stuff so to do that i'm doing this conditional formatting and again i need an s on that so if i highlight all of this go to home conditional formatting manage rules down the bottom and then new rule and it's the formula option that i need to do that one what i need to type in here is equals month open bracket and then dates the name cell dates close the bracket so dates is this cell up here is not equal to month open the bracket on that h6 which is that cell there dollar sign but i don't want the dollar sign so i need to press f4 three times one two three close the bracket what i now need to do is apply the format that i want so i'm going format i'll go for green but i want the font color to be green as well so i can't see it so i need to select the same green color see what that looks like okay clicking OK to that, apply that, and then OK. So that's working. If I change the month, drop the arrow down, pick a different month. OK, that's still on the first. So let's see if that works for a month that doesn't start on the Monday. There we go. August starts on a Wednesday, a Thursday. So it's colouring that up green and it's colouring up the rest of it green as well. So this is working now. We're going to October. Everything's OK. So that's all I want to do on this little video, show you how you can create a calendar using the sequence function, incorporate in the weekday function and a name cell, how you can do conditional formatting with the month function and how you can use the date value function to sort of join together cells. So hopefully that video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.